You ran for president in 2016. I think that uh, you, it was a long race. It was a hard-fought race. It's a very different world two years later for a lot of reasons. There's probably a dozen or so candidates or more who will be in the race. The issue platforms have changed quite a bit. There's several candidates who've endorsed Medicare for All or Free College, which are uh, issues that you would champion. Why would you take a look at this race this time and say, I have to run again? Well, I think for a couple of reasons, uh, Chris. First of all, I'm proud of what we accomplished in 2016. And I'm proud that we changed the political discourse in this country, that ideas that today are widely accepted are part of the mainstream, are being supported by many Democratic candidates. If you will recall, three years ago, why these ideas were considered to be radical and extreme and infringe, and infringe ideas. So we have come a long way, I think, in transforming the Democratic Party and making it into a more progressive party.